Manners, I am right. extremely specific. I feel like you, you, I'm you're like, scolding Take your hand, me. go higher, go at this pace, take your other hand, do this. Don't you want do to at least like explore, bit. be creative? Like, do no, something? because I know what I like. You're like so, a slave master. Well, I mean, it's just like I said a second ago. You don't go to Bassin' Robbins and be like, ah, you know, whatever you're in the mood for, put it on a cone and I'll eat it. You'll be like, I want the Ben & Jerry's Mocha Almond Fudge, or whatever funny name they think for it. I want uh, hot chocolate syrup and nuts sprinkled on top of it. I want it in a waffle cone, and I'd like it uh, now, you know. That's, that's what you say, so... What's the difference between that and hey? Can you lick my le my left ball and t tickle my right ball all while you're giving me a hand job, and then alternate back and forth every 15 seconds or so? So, so <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting worked up. Here you talking about it. Are you you got a jeans boner over there? No, Wood. not at all. Zoom in on his boner. What's going What's going on over the there? The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> He's covering it up with a manure. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of symbolism in that. That's like a hiding, really, hiding I just your... really made an awkward jeans boner. It's like a flat. So you can't even tell. Can't even tell. What if this is what your boner looked like? That is you frightening. The possibilities? <laughs> That's that is terrifying. So my friends used to call me Medora Dick in school. <laughs> Why do we still have this thing? <laughs> Jesus. Why did you buy that in the first place? Uh, it looked remember. like a prop that you'll need in the future. Yeah, you never, you never know, know when you need, you need Medora. A, Medora. a response skin. <laughs> I'm down with Hutch. Communication is great. Mm -hmm. It's just sometimes you yeah. like. I like to give them their the. I like to let them run like fucking uh, wild of, horses. Where's the there's, nothing, balls. there's nothing I haven't seen. There's nothing I haven't seen. Lord knows or that. experience <laughs> besides scat. Besides, hey, full on. Yeah, you know, yeah no, 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 that's true. That's chest. true. But person X. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to say girl because I don't want to just shoehorn you into. Uh, you know, heterosexuality. I appreciate that. <laughs> Go on. Uh, girl X, girl X licking your nutsack is different than girl Y licking yeah. your nutsack. Person X, I mean, is It's different really than, not, no. I mean, it's like, what, what, it's a, it's a whole what could adventure. girl X do differently with her tongue that girl Y can't? It's not that she's licking you different. Or it's not like that he or she is licking you differently. <laughs> <laughs> he or she? <laughs> Shit. What's the closest? Have you ever been in a situation? I'm curious because you you always talk about like dudes and not being gay. What's the closest? Have you ever been in like an awkward situation where you thought to yourself for a moment, I should indulge this? No. The, the closest I ever got was I was depressed when I was 19 years old, lost all my sex drive, and I had a beautiful Japanese girlfriend at the time. And I didn't want to have sex with her because I was depressed. But in my paranoid, depressed state, I thought that because I didn't want to have sex with a beautiful girl, that it must mean that, that I was at that age where you discover you're gay. And then you come out of the closet and your father sh shames you. So for like six months, I was waiting for the day to come along where I would, I would be attracted to Wiener. And it never happened. And then after about six months, I said, oh, yeah. I guess I'm not gay. Yeah, you could have fooled me. And then you just... <laughs> I remember watching The Real World when they were in Paris, and there was like this gay guy. On, there's always a gay guy on the cast. And, and my, my paranoid brain was just like, you want to have sex with him, don't you? <laughs> And I'm like, no, I don't. You've been a naughty boy. This just got intensely personal. Didn't it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's the fucking greatest story ever.